Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today, I want to talk about whether or not bad teammates actually affect the way you play the game and how we should go about the matchmaking. Now, let's get started. So my first question is, do bad teammates actually affect your own performance in-game? The answer to that is simply, absolutely. Having teammates around is a good way to make sure that you have a bunch of map control. Also, it controls the map flow and it makes sure that the spawns stay to where your teammates are. If you have bad teammates, completely just terrible teammates, and you are pushing out with your teammates and everyone except you dies, that means the spawns are going to flip, that you are going to be in a position that you wouldn't want to be in, and it is going to ruin the flow. You're going to be overwhelmed by a bunch of enemies just because your teammates can't hold them back. This is not only bad for the good player, it is also bad for the bad player because now the bad player has to rely on the good player in order to get the victory. And let's think about this, if I as a good player am going up against really really terrible players from my perspective, it's really good, it's really fun, they're bad, they have no idea what they're doing and I'm getting a ton of kills. However, if I am the bad player on the opposite team, then I am just getting crushed by this one other good player on the opposite team, and that's not fair, that's not how I learn, I need my own skill level to, in order to learn. Which is what transitions me into the next thing I want to talk about, and that is the matchmaking. When thinking about matchmaking, we have to make a decision. There are two options we have ahead. We can either A, take a great connection with not so much balanced teams, or we can have a terrible connection with perfectly balanced teams when everybody's at their own skill level. There are pros and cons to both, and I understand that we would rather have a great connection and balanced teams, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. When we look back to Black Ops 2, it was heavily uh, skill-based matchmaking, even in public matches, just a little bit, and the connections were probably the worst connection I've ever had in any Call of Duty game. However, we look at Ghosts, and at least towards the beginning, the connections were really great, really fantastic, and then you really didn't have balanced teams. You had me and Biebs carrying the entire team, racing against the other team so that our teammates didn't die faster than we were able to kill, which is a problem in and of itself. Personally, I would rather sacrifice balanced teams in order for the connections to improve. As long as my aim is on target, then that means I'm going to get the kill. As long as my bullets are going where I'm aiming, that means in my mind I have a chance. I have a chance to get better, I have a chance to win the game as long as the connections are perfect. However, I would like to believe that I am the good player on the team even though that's probably not true. Uh, um, I would rather have the win on my shoulders. If we have the matchmaking perfect, that means bad players are going up against bad players, which means those players are going to be learning and adapting at their own pace, at their own skill level. Similarly, if we move up, the good players are going up against the good players, and they will be learning at their own pace. They will be going up against people of like mindsets, and they will learn to get better at the game, which is the positive of a good matchmaking system. However, the negative of that is those good players don't get rewarded as much as they would have if they were going up against bad players. There's less pub stomping, there's less of me going 47 kills in a team deathmatch because my teammate is going to be probably a similar skill level than I, just like the enemies are. However, like I said, if we have this, if we make that decision where everyone's equal, then we are probably going to have to sacrifice connections. I hope and pray that the Xbox One has some dedicated servers, that the next gen has dedicated servers, that we can all have a great connection when Advanced Warfare comes out. But uh, call up my pattern recognition skills, I think this game is going to have horrendous lag. And I would rather have uh, my bullets go where I am aiming rather than any other matchmaking system you can ever think of. I don't care if I'm going up against people that are at my level. 
I will not learn if there is lag. I will not play the game if there is a horrendous amount of lag. So that is where I'm at on that. I would rather have a great connection than perfectly balanced matchmaking. It's not a popular opinion, but tell me your, tell me your guys' opinion in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.